Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you and God bless you. I am very, very pleased today I came across a video of a sister that, that, excuse me, that showed me up her delivery method and her way of speech was superb. I don't know the sister. I came by the video no less than an hour ago. No less than an hour ago. And I watched them so cool. And I appreciate her. And she's a good sister. I could tell. And her fervor and her passion for Islam and Allah is it's very refreshing, to say the least. All praise be to Allah for allowing it, for allowing me to see that. The, the video, the, the video she had the most amount of posts on was a hundred. Please, and I and I beg of you, and I ask of you greatly, uh, to to watch that video and to watch those th the three videos. They're each fifteen minutes long, but those forty five minutes that you'll spend watching the video, if you're a Sunni or a Shia, or if you don't, if you think that the Quran only people are are ridiculous, this sister, <clears throat> this sister combines two methods of approach. Myself, Teddy Three in DC, has a very reasonable, logical way of approaching uh, Islam as a belief system, as our way of uh, communing with each other, as our way of acknowledging Allah. And Surah Seventy Two has a very uh, direct: give you the verses in the Quran, give you all the evidence, drop bombs on you, and then walk away from you saying, "May you know, may the Allah guide the believers." And make us all believers, inshallah. This sister talks. She, I thought I was the scalpel. It turns out that I'm just a, I'm just a, uh, just a gun that just shoots. Pew, pew, pew. That Surah seventy two is a hammer, and this sister is a scalpel. She dissects each one of the. She cuts out each piece of the cancer. She analyzes it and she tells you why it's a cancer and where the correction is. And I am moved and pleased to even have the opportunity to have viewed her video. I don't know who she is. I don't know what she does. But I know now that there are there have been fifteen since I viewed it, there have been like ten people who've also seen it. And of all of us, I know that five of us have favored it already. You will be doing yourself a great disservice if you don't at least pay attention to the sister. And I am very, very pleased. I just got done making us a lot and reading. And I am very, very, very pleased to just had the opportunity to just listen to somebody else go through it so distinctly. Each single point that she makes is a you would say, well, what about this? Well, what about this? Well, what about this? And she goes through each one. And she grew up... And her little, her daughter, her daughter, in her first video, she mentions that her daughter asked her a question like, how do we know Muslims are doing the right thing? How do we know that Muslims are on the right path? And that caused her to answer, to ask these questions. And she, alhamdulillah, Allah is the best by far. Literally, she uses every single Quran verse that she used to go against the Hadith and not just to go against the Hadith but to prove it to people and to say and she said it like it is she said exactly what it is all right above my head you will see um, at mm, soon a couple of seconds inshallah you will see the my uh, the place and I'll put the link to her videos below inshallah and I don't know if she wants them promoted, but she put it on YouTube, so I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. If, she, if I'm wrong, sister, you will correct me because you will have the video as well. Inshallah. But uh, I think after watching her, after saying what I've said, after watching her videos and having access to Sir 72s videos, which all of these videos will be in the, in the notes section right below, if... You are not convinced with truth and understanding after these. Um, I don't, I, you better, you need to pray to Allah that you're on the right path and that you want the truth and that you will not follow falsehood ever again. But I don't think that it's necessary for me to make any more videos about Hadith at all. And that may come as a relief to some of you. Um, maybe not, but in my opinion that 
anything that I have to say after this has already been covered. I mean, it's the amount of information that has been covered. It's phenomenal. The amount of reason and logic that's been covered is phenomenal. Um, the amount of effort that those who believe have put into doing this, the stress and the problems and the and the uh, and the uh, um, the threats that we've received for doing what we're doing have been great, and I'm certain that this sister as well has had this problem, even though she hasn't had very many views. But again, I say all praise be to Allah for you know, allowing us to think and to reason and to use our deductive reasoning principles, to use scientific evidence and proof, to use a voice in order to convey the knowledge that Allah has given us. And by obeying Allah's commands to read and to ponder and to think and to judge by Allah's book. I think that we've all done exactly what we need to do. And I bear witness that there is no God but God, Allah, the creator, the one God the creator of all things, the omniscient, omnipotent. And I hope that you guys can also see what I'm seeing. For those of you who seek to do injustice, cause corruption in the land, um, you can't run from Allah. And if you seek to call, do harm to those who believe, who profess with their mouth peace and salams to you and to everybody else, then you are a hypocrite. And you will be judged for what your actions are. So, I think I'm going to retire from the whole Hadith question. It's not necessary. And those of you out there who are Sheikhs, Imams, scholars, and Mullahs, who come to continue to support this, I believe that the retribution is coming up for you. And you have this life to keep doing what you're doing. But you're teaching things that you can't prove and you're teaching things that are like the sister says in her first and second videos conjecture you're teaching things that you can't validate you can't that you have to trust that you think explains the Quran and in my opinion that's a sad sad occurrence uh, now on a lighter note after working today I'm getting off at a good hour I'm on my way to the gym and I'm gonna work out my body like I work out my mind daily and I hope that all of you all are out there staying healthy and that you're eating right that you're watching your weight and that you're maintaining your health that you're eating the fruits and vegetables on, uh, that Allah has provided for you and I would like to remind us that we should be eating the good foods um, there are restrictions in the Quran that we should be following uh, if you're a believer you should absolutely be following and there are things that are found other places that we should not be following. But whatever, it's always up to your preference and whatever is available in your culture. Inshallah, you're in a culture of purity. You can get um, purified foods. Anyway, all praise be to Allah, the creator of the universe, for allowing us to come together and to think uh, whether you're my friend or not, or you see me as a friend. I wish you salams. Salamu alaikum to you. To my friends, the very best of you, salamu alaikum. To the people who call me a friend but don't realize that you're doing things against me or that I'm, and if I'm doing anything against you, I apologize. Salamu alaikum. Uh, anybody out there who agrees with me, salamu alaikum. Anybody who disagrees, salamu alaikum. Anybody who thinks that I'm a hypocrite, liar, or a boaster, salamu alaikum to you as well. Inshallah, if I find any of those things, then I will be rectified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before my death, so that I may die in the state of Islam and submission. Um, to those of you who are still learning, are out there just learning, Assalamu alaikum. And uh, may Allah guide you to the truth. I certainly don't have it, and I couldn't do it. I, I certainly didn't guide myself to truth, and nobody else guided me to truth, so I guess that's just up to Allah, right? And inshallah, you'll see what I'm saying the very near future. When I say inshallah, I mean God willing. Um, but it's more detailed than that. I made a video about that if you would like to view it. That's all I got. You know. <laughs> all praise be to Allah, Lord of the world. May he have judgment on us. And may he have his mercy and compassion for us. Maybe we all be guided to truth, inshallah. But it's just not the case. Most of us don't even want it.
Deuces.